We all love a good bit of gear. We all love a good bit of equipment. And the shinier, the better. What's happening guys, Dan Devenham here. We love a good bit of gear. And when we find a good bit of gear, we tend to stick with it. We tend to stay with that piece of gear and be loath to get rid of it and be loath to, to change it up or, or change it out if it works and you know you can rely on it. Cameras are different, you know, we all want new features, we all want new stuff, but effectively, actual gear, actual stuff that we use that adds onto that camera, like microphones or uh, tripods or camera bags or you're loath once you've got it set and you're good to go, you are really loath to change things up because, well, you never know what might happen. But then companies throw a spanner in the works and they bring out new versions of old classics or they bring out a greater version of the thing that you really, really love. And that is what we're here to talk about today. So what gear am I actually talking about? What, what piece of gear am I actually so indebted to that I use every single time I actually do any filming? Well, it's this. This is the Punks Cory, the three-legged thing Punks Cory. Uh, and it's got extra feet on it that I bought separately. These are spikes. Um, I don't really know why I bought them to be fair. I think, I think they just look cool, so I just thought I'd have those. They're actually metal, it came with rubber feet. Um, and I did a review on this in 2018, um, which uh, because I really, really liked it, and I really, I really thought it was a, it's a really good piece of kit. It folds up really, really nice. And then I get a uh, reached out to by Three Legged Thing to say, we've made a number two of this, and would you like it for a month? We'd like to lend it for a month. So would you like, would you like us to loan it to you for a month, so that you can have a look at it and see whether it's worth it's the same or better than the one you've already got because we think it is and and uh, we'd like your opinion on it so and to do a little video so here we are this is what we've got so this is the new version of the three-legged thing punks cory this is punks cory 2.0 they're about the same size uh, or thereabouts pretty much but there are some significant differences between the two and the original punks cory so let's have a look at those now. Okay, so the Punks Cory 2.0. So this one's in blue, obviously. Comes in two colors, orange and blue. So you can get it with the orange legs or you can get it with the blue legs. I chose the blue legs um, for them to send to me. So what are some of the differences of, between this and the Punks Cory 1? Well, one of the main differences, I think one of the major differences to this is that these, these leg handles, these grips that, that unlock the legs, the ones that, that let you pull the leg out. Um, they are much, much bigger and much, 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 much more easier to handle than the original, the original one that I have. Um, there's nothing wrong with the original one that I have, but these just, these just work better. They're just a bit more positive. They're a little bit more, a little bit more substantial in the way that they are uh, designed. The little rubber feet at the end, they've been designed slightly differently and um, they're now a little bit more grippy around the edges um, and have a little bit more indentations to them. And they've dropped some of the other stuff that came along with the, um, the original Punks Cory, i.e. there's a lot of, um, there's an awful lot of levels. And to be honest, I've, I've never used a level to be fair. If you're gonna use a level, I use one on the camera itself. Uh, because that's show what level the camera is rather than what the tripod is. Um, and obviously this has got adjustable feet and it's amazing in terms of how it adjusts. So uh, obviously because each leg can be done independently, um, yeah, I don't worry too much about the camera tripod itself being level. As long as it's secure on the ground, I level it, the camera itself. Um, so they dropped some of that and they've made some of these, um, some if I just open it out a little bit, uh, they've made some of these, uh, milled aluminium rather than rather than the sort of rubberized around the the uh, grip edge so they're a little bit more positive to get hold of um, and a little bit a little bit feel a little bit more premium premium weight it's made out of magnesium so it's tough um, it still takes an amazing amount of weight 
uh, something like 15 kilograms or something like that. It's basically, it takes up to, up to the weight of a really fairly well tricked out red uh, camera. So anything up to a cinema camera really, this will take the weight of, which is incredible for a tripod that packs down to like a foot in size, which is amazing. Um, some of the features that they've made even better, I think, are they've uh, increased the size of this flange on the edge of the um, head, of the ball head, um, so that you can pass cables through properly, uh, or in a better, much thicker cables through, uh, which just basically tidies up your, um, your tripod or your, your rig, as it were, and lets you um, get on with the job at a hand, as it were. And what they've also done, which is quite incredible, and the, on the first tripod, on the Cory, the one that this tr camera is actually sat on now, um, one of the legs came off, um, and was the one of the selling points, and that's one of the reasons why I got it was that because I've got a monopod, I've got a, a Manfrotto one, a carbon fiber one, but but again, being like I said before, being a being a corporate filmmaker, uh, especially one for like a local authority, which is what I do. Um, you often are going into an environment where you don't know the full extent of what you're actually going to be filming and where you're going to be filming. You know you're going to be filming somebody and you're going to be filming something, but you've not had a chance to go out and pre-visit the site. You've not had a chance to go out and, and decide where you're going to have what shot and where. So you need to be able to cover a lot of bases with the, the minimal amount of equipment because you're going to be doing a lot of traveling and you're going to be doing a lot of walking around. And so it's hence the reason why you need a decent backpack. Uh, this one is the... Um, uh, uh, toxic bags Valkyrie um, and and you need a decent tripod that covers all bases so because it came off one of the legs came off and became a monopod um, that that was a massive selling point to me it, it was it was just a brilliant idea and I thought what a great idea but I still needed to carry things like table tripods and all that kind of stuff and uh, mounts for microphones and all that kind of thing well, that is where the uh, Punks Corey 2.0 has us covered. All three legs come off of this, so all three legs will unscrew, like so. And they can be used for a multitude of different things. So it can be a monopod, you can take the ball head off, or you can take the head of your tripod off and put it on this and make it into a monopod, which is great. And I've done that with both the three-legged thing, Neo Airhead, I've done it with the Manfrotto uh, 602, so I've had that on here as well. Um, you can also use it as a selfie stick, so you can get it and use it as a selfie stick if you want to. So if you're on holiday, again, or you're traveling, you can use it to talk to camera. Um, you can put your tripod on here, uh, your camera on here, and then use it to talk to it, uh, which is amazing as well. It's a really clever thing to be able to do. Um, but one of the other things you can do is you can use it as a microphone boom pole as well. And you can use all three of those um, independently to do different things at the same time. Now, the other amazing thing that this actually does is it also, you can use this as a tabletop tripod by putting the feet into the stub of the leg. And you can get longer elongated feet, I don't have those but you can get elongated feet um, and you can, that makes it obviously gives it a little bit more of a stance off, off the table. Um, but essentially you can put this on a table and you can strip it down and you can make it into a uh, tabletop tripod, which is absolutely fantastic. It does all the same stuff that the Punks Corey did. So it does the low, the low level uh, tripod, it does the under slung bit so you can spin this around and you can alter it and what have you. It does the same extending out um, and twist locking and it does the same dropping down so that you've got you know a multitude of different things you can do with it. It is just building on an amazing piece of kit and making it even better. It feels amazing still. It's still it's not sacrificed any of the build quality that the Punks Corey had. It's it's just feels meatier actually. It feels more feels more together it feels more premium actually than the original punks Corey. and the punks Corey it was really premium it's a good it's a great tripod it's an amazing i can attest to that tripod and this is this is one of the reasons why i wanted to review this i wanted to have a look at it because i've used this tripod exclusively as my go-to tripod since 2018 so it's been on every single corporate job i've done for work because between you and i work don't provide a tripod um so it's been on every job I've done. It's done every, well, virtually every YouTube video that I've done where there's been a need for a tripod. It's ha it, that's been one of the tripods I've used. 
most likely the, 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 the primary tripod that I've used. And so because of that, I wanted to see if they'd made any adjustments to this that would make me want to upgrade to that tripod. And they have, they have, absolutely. Um, they, they've, made, they've made a number of different adjustments which I feel have benefited the tripod rather than detracted away from it. Uh, and it's just got better. It's like an iteration of an already great product without losing all the amazing stuff that the, the already great product had, they've now just added to it. And it is absolutely fantastic. They've also gone ahead and updated what it actually comes with in the box. So it used to come with this drawstring bag that well, it does, well, the, the one came with a drawstring bag um, and a little uh, tool. That, it, uh, that made it uh, um, easy to put on the, the Arca Swiss mount uh, that is compatible with Arca Swiss mounts. Um, and now they've updated that and gone a bit more premium and they've put this carry bag in with it now, which has got a strap that goes across, um, which is amazing. And it's also got a little pocket on the inside, which has got your tool in there, uh, which is still uh, the same amazing piece of kit we all end up using either a spoon or a coin or whatever, well with this you don't. Uh, and they also put this little bag in there as well, which goes over the Neo Air head. Now, I often wondered what this little bag was for. Well, I thought, it's an interesting piece of kit. I wonder why they put it in a little bag. Maybe it's because if you take it off, you can keep it uh, inside this little bag. And I believe that's one of the reasons why they've got it. But I've also found that if you put this little bag over it when you put it away, the head doesn't scratch the legs. Uh, and doesn't damage the legs either. So it's got sort of a bit of a dual purpose to it. And it's a nice, a nice thick padded bag, um, which is, is great uh, inside. It's just really nicely padded and nicely thickened out uh, to protect the tripod. It comes with the uh, included strap as well. So they've even gone ahead, not only have they updated the actual tripod itself, but they've also updated the packaging that comes with it. The box is significantly larger uh, to accommodate this. Um, uh, and it's also the same premium cardboard that they used before. I don't know if that makes any difference to anybody. Some people really, really, really like packaging um, and, uh, and, and you know, that will satisfy them as well. This is a great addition. It just means when you're putting stuff away or you're taking stuff abroad or you're taking stuff out on, on location, you don't need to get damaged. If you're not carrying it on the backpack, uh, as you've seen, it, it fits to the back of the backpacks or on your own, on your own camera bag. Um, then you know you've got this pack to put it in as well. So would I recommend this to somebody else? Would I say get this tripod over any other tripod? Um, yes, is the long and short answer of that. As I say, I've got I've got multiple years experience using the same tripod that's never let me down. That is in still the same working order that I've had it from before. I don't see any reason why this more robust more premium build quality version of the same tripod would let you down or be any different. It is an absolutely stonking piece of kit and uh, probably one of the best buys that I ever did was the Cory uh, and probably will be the Cory too when I get that. So with that, I hope you did enjoy this short review of the Punks Cory 2.0, an amazing piece of kit that packs down to virtually nothing. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.